uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video we have created three different lambdas now we will just play around them and we will try to understand more about it so we have already done the integration on the api gateway and i have deployed it you can just do a deploy api you can select the same stage and we already have deployed it so these are the stages we have like dev stage and this is the endpoint for that okay now coming back to let's talk about post so post is a request where you need to add something in the request body right so if you want to test it and we'll also let's look into the lambda so bookstore create and what i'm doing in this is i'm returning the same event object okay i have already deployed it and we meanwhile we can also look at the other settings for the lambda like the memory the vpc and all these things so the concurrency settings okay let's uh, look into this monitoring tool which is a cloud watch matrix enabled we can also set the memory i mean we are just running a basic so 128 uh, mb is fine for this what else we have environment variables if you want to pass some environment variable like in the node js we generally pass some environment variable like e and b right so those environment variables you can pass here Sometimes you need to pass the database environment configurations like username, password, port, and all these things that you can pass. A VPC, if you want to run this lambda in a particular VPC which you already have, then just do the VPC settings, concurrency. Uh, it, it likes if you want to look into the performance, then you will go for this particular option, database proxies and all. Okay. Now what we are doing is uh, here we are returning the event. So whatever we are getting in the event object, we can also log it if you want, what we are getting in the event. So we will understand what API gateway is sending to the Lambda because API gateway is not doing all the kind of transformation, mapping the template, uh, extracting the request header, and then setting up the response. All these things API gateway is not doing. It just, our Lambda is responsible for doing all those things. We'll just deploy it. And if we just try to save it, I mean, we can also test it. What does it this means is when we test it, uh, whatever we are sending in the request body that we are getting response back. Okay, this is what it is doing, We're returning the same event object. Now in the API gateway, uh, this is our post, we have the test. Here we can specify the request body, which is nothing but uh, here you can specify anything, which is a valid JSON object. Okay, and we are testing it. So we should get the same in the response back, right? So what we are doing is we are sending the request in the everything in the event and we are getting the response back. So how that is working? So this is this is all internal things because here you can see the integration request. Now in coming up videos, we will also explore how this integration request, how this template binding is happening and all. If you see add mapping, mapping template, and we'll also try to explore how uh, this is HTTP get, okay, HTTP post. And here you can see there are a lot of things which is happening in the background while generating this template. This is actually a request template. So whatever we are getting from the client about a particular method request, how Lambda is processing it. Like it is extracting the body JSON, it is extracting the parameters, it is extracting the types and it is sending us. We are not able to see this because this is happening in the background. We can also define our own custom template that we will see in the coming up videos, how, how you can define these templates and you can do the transformation. Okay, so coming back to uh, our API gateway. Here you can see the integration uh, request. And here we, we have a different options. I mean, we can also use Lambda proxy integration. What it does is, it will create a proxy for the API gateway. I mean, it is just uh, releasing all the responsibilities of API gateway to this proxy. So we have to override the settings. We generally don't need these settings for our normal development. What it is doing is now, if you just try to see this, now your integration response is grayed out, right? So now all the responsibility of transforming the response is handled over to this proxy. And if you just try to deploy this, 
I mean, we don't need to deploy because we are testing locally all these things. So this is what we deployed. Now if we try to test this with same JSON object and random JSON object. So we are getting internal server error which is expected because now whatever the schema which was defined on the lambda lambda integration we have override that now we are using the proxy integration and it doesn't fit with our requirement right so let's try to see what we are getting when we are doing a proxy integration what we are getting in this event object okay and how we can do this we are executing this lambda from here this is actually hitting the lambda and we can also check the cloud watch logs and to see what we are getting in the event object so we can actually go to the cloud watch to see all the, the event logs which are happening okay, i think this represents it we can hit uh, it one source Now, if I just try to run this, so the CloudWatch is a event stream. Whatever, whenever your Lambda is getting executed, you will be able to see all the logs here. Your log group is books store create, and here you can see a lot of logs coming, and you can also see the event object what in the event object you are getting a very big object right so this is what the proxy is doing it is dumping all the things for you in the event object i try to print event object what all things it has http methods headers request context type account id protocol all those things right but when you are doing the you are sending the same event object the schema doesn't match right that's why you are getting the internal server error right how can we how can we fix this kind of a problem what we can do is while while sending the event object we can send something else like we can alter uh, a few parameter on this like updating the request header or something like this so what we can do is uh, instead of event object we can return header and in the headers you can send uh, control access allow origin Could be or anything like x api key or whatever you think of it's like adding another property in the headers and it should work fine now if i just try to do it with the api gateway this also works fine because it's not returning any data it is just adding a new header when we are doing the lambda proxy integration right so this is just for uh, just understanding what this proxy integration does okay we can just disable this once we are done now the next thing is understanding these body templates uh, i mean this is a lambda proxy but here we have these mapping templates and what is the role of these mapping templates how they work this is very crucial to understand how they are they are actually working request pass through I mean this is like a default this is how your api gateway your api gateway is not doing a transformation and all but this request body template which is a default one is transforming your request payload which has a lot of things you have a query parameter you have a request body json all those things it is transforming through this logic and sending it to your uh, lambda okay in the next video let's talk about this body template